third big year of revolting America. Yeah! And needless to say, we're pretty excited. You know, not too many people thought we would last this long. I, I know my wife, for one, was hoping this nonsense would peter out after a few weeks, but <laughs> we wanted the marriage to peter out, too. <laughs> that, that was two oh, weeks. Oh, believe me, that happened. <laughs> we knew as long as horny guys watch television drunk, there would always be a place for our little program. <laughs> I want you to know we're not resting on our laurels, even though we're both sitting in recliners right now. <laughs> Quite the contrary. As a matter of fact, tonight we're going to unleash a phenomenon that I predict will be bigger than the Macarena, the Rubik's Cube, Mambo Number no. 5, and what's up? <laughs> combined. Absolutely. It's called Yokozuna. Remember this Y O K O Z U N A. In yeah, something like that. <laughs> in uh, Japanese, Yokozuna means grand champion, but in English, it means my cousin Sal jumps ass first on your face. <laughs> the following is a videotape, and it's not for the faint of heart. You're about to see Jimmy's cousin Sal brutally attack our friend Mike, who made the fatal mistake of falling asleep on the sofa during a football game. <laughs> Again, if you are pregnant or even thinking about having a child, please turn away from your TV set now. Roll the tape. again in slow motion. Um, let me telestrate this. Uh, all right, that's Sal. That's Sal's ass. This is Mikey sleeping. And this is Mike's face. Now, Sal's going to run like a kind of a button hook pattern here and land on the face, squash, 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 right. face full of mud. This is the life leaving Mike. All right, let's roll that, shall we? All right, now, let, really note the form. He slaps the ass three times. Big lift for Max. Oh, yeah. yeah that, yes. That's love. That is... That is a delicious ass sandwich right there. Make this observation. Uh, Sal goes about five seven five eight. How does he have six two worth of crap? I don't know. <laughs> How is that physically possible? Hey, you know, it? actually, Mike seems excited. <laughs> <laughs> and he has a Frenchman's mustache. <laughs> well, all right. Let's introduce somebody. <laughs> this is the uh, founder and CEO of the Yokozuna, cousin Sal. Everybody. <laughs> And sitting next to Sal is Mike. <laughs> and by the way, that was like six months ago. He still can't taste food. <laughs> All right. Rem remember, though, everybody, Yokozuna is a very dangerous move. My cousin Sal is a professional. Under no circumstances should you ever do this to anyone. That's right. But if you happen to already have any tapes like this, you mm -hmm. know, wacky ass tricks or silly butt stunts, 
Send them to us. Our address is on our website at www.manshow.com. Thanks, Sal. I, I know Sal's parents. Uh, my aunt and uncle are very proud right now. <laughs> All right. Let's make another introduction. Uh, these guys here. You're probably wondering who the guys in the later hosen are up there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Rolling Stones. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're a good deal younger than the Rolling Stones. These are the good time party boys. Bernie, Hershey, Ira, Phil, and Warren. And let me tell you something, they may not look like it, but these guys will poker your motherfucking ass off. <laughs> You know, if you're anything like Adam and me, and we definitely are, you and your buddies are constantly arguing about who has the better sperm. I decide it was time to settle it once and for all. It was really tearing us apart, this whole sperm controversy. Recently, I challenged Jimmy to go one-on-one -on -one at a sperm bank to put his semen where his mouth is. Name? Jimmy. James. Yeah, I'm going by Ace. Days since last ejaculation. I don't measure it in days. Any portion lost. I lost some sperm in Nam. Some good sperm went down there, too. TWA lost my sperm last time I flew. <laughs> Hi, Adam and Jimmy. Hey, hey, how's it going? Watch the hand. <laughs> That's very important. We're going to have you um, put your names on each of these cups and then go ahead and give us a specimen. Can you quantify whose sperm is more desirable or active? We're going to see how many are swimming and what the sperm look like, how normal they are. Taste yeah. doesn't come into the... <laughs> no, that's extra. What about bouquet? I've been told. <laughs> I have a lovely bouquet. <laughs> well, I'm told my uh, semen is assertive without being pushy. <laughs> so we have some very simple collection instructions. You should have abstained from ejaculation for the last 48 hours. Oh, oh yeah. I abstained yeah. the hell out of my sheets. Mine's going to come out with such thrush, Jimmy. It's going to suck my underpants up my ass. <laughs> So why don't you come on back? All right. Before we go ahead and actually check uh, your sperm, we have a bunch of questions that we ask donors. Why do you want to be a donor? Well, we heard that um, you get paid to donate, right? How much do, do we get for this? I think it's about 60 or $70. <laughs> I could have bought a house. Yeah, if I'd only found out about this in junior high, we really could have been multi-millionaires. Absolutely. This what are your favorite foods? Mm, I like pizza. Yeah, I pizza. Think, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite color? Pizza color? No, yeah. what is your favorite color? Red and with white melted. <laughs> no, no, nothing to do with pizza. Oh, right. I don't understand. Do we, do we, what what we is eating? your favorite color? Oh, we should order a pizza. Yeah, we should get some pizza. What is your ultimate ambition or goal in life? To see myself as the first pirate astronaut. Uh, if you could pass a message on to the recipients of your semen, what would that message be? Wash your hands. <laughs> this is a mess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Why don't we go ahead and, uh, and check your sperm now? Okay. All right. Well, That's I'm right. going to give you each some interesting reading material to Ooh, speed you, you along in your process. Yeah, I memorized this one already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, maybe we should set a timer. All righty. 50 bucks says I get out faster than you. You're on. <laughs> We're going down. Okay. You guys ready? Mm hmm. Yeah. On your mark? Asian nurse. Asian nurse. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
clothes magnet now. Hold on a second. You didn't even button up your pants. I don't I button normally my button pants. my pants up. That must have added five seconds onto my time. There is nothing in the Jacker's handbook that states you must button your pants. Once again, I'm being penalized for common decency. I use whatever techniques I need to win. You won this round, Corolla, but the real contest is to see which one of these is more potent. Bring them on. My boys will clobber your boys. <laughs> Don't shake it. You'll make them retarded. <laughs> Gentlemen, the doctor will see you now. Well, guys, the results are in. Shall we have a look? Yeah. yeah. This is Adam's sperm, and Adam has a normal sperm. Oh, hold on, doctor. Can you, put, can you push over to the side there? I thought I saw something. Look at the eyebrows on this one. <laughs> it's your son. <laughs> off the old block. <laughs> yes, it is. You both have normal counts, so the way we're going to break it is we're going to do something called the total modal sperm count. Does that mean we get to masturbate again? No, uh, oh. you do that on your own time. Oh. 0.57 uh -huh. equals 41. 41 million? 41 million moving sperm. All right, All right 41 for Adam. And then for Jimmy, we're going for 6, 69. Oh, 69, nice. Right. I whipped his ass. Wait a minute. Wait a 69. minute. 69. Let's get an Asian in here to check this man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. My sperm's still good, though, right? Well, it's good. Not Jimmy good, but good. <laughs> Not Jimmy good, but you're pretty good there, buddy. Dr. Workman, thank you for measuring our sperm. Well, good luck, you guys. Thanks for coming in. And thank I you. apologize because I didn't wash my hands. Good. Let's come out faster. Don't touch me. I'll race you to the bottom. Now you're on. Thank you. Sadly, since that piece was filmed, the old sperm bank has been torn down to make way for a brand new, state-of-the-art tartar sauce factory. <laughs> when we come back, more filth, strip club do's and don'ts. This is the Man Show. Seems self-explanatory. You getting tired of me spitting in your ear, Jimmy? <laughs> Not at all, no. You sit, you stare, and every once in a while, you stick a buck down someone's underpants. But there's oh so much more to it than that. For the uninitiated, a strip club can be a, a confusing and expensive proposition. But luckily for you guys, I grew up in Las Vegas, and Adam's a pervert, so we know what we're doing. Listen and learn. These are strip club do's and don'ts. <laughs> When you enter the club, don't stiff the bouncer. No. He may look like a pumped up, pissed off steroid freak on the outside, but on the inside, he's a pumped up, pissed off steroid freak who decides whether you get a seat or not. Yes. One of the most important considerations also is what to wear to a strip club. When I'm headed out for a big night of sexual frustration and phony chit chat with women who find me pathetic, I want to look my best. But. <laughs> I also know I'd better be ready when her ass makes contact with my groin. Do dress practically. For maximum friction, wear soft, lightweight clothes that they'll enjoy rubbing against. That way your genitals get the consideration they deserve. And no underpants. Would you wear a catcher's mitt to a circle jerk? <laughs> of course not. Then don't wear underwear to a strip club. Jimmy, I don't know how much ass I can ignore and read cue cards. I really don't. Like, Please, your ass, your ass is blocking the text. Please. Right. Let me get a lap dance while you continue to talk. All right. Before the lap dance, do make sure that your front pockets are free of sharp objects. 
that pens and tie clips are stowed away and that your penis is locked into the full upright position. <laughs> By the way, it is. <laughs> Of course, the bad news is you gotta pay for this. Most clubs let you use a credit card to buy their phony cash that they give names like Bunny Money and Boner Bucks. Don't ever buy the club's money. Why pay a 20% service charge when you can make your own cash using your computer at home? <laughs> when tipping a stripper, do use counterfeit bills. In a dark room with nothing but black light, it's almost impossible to see that watermark. And even if they do check it. Hey, this is a fake. Well, so are these, and I'm not complaining. <laughs> as long as you got green money, though, you got girls. Girls? See? A Look lot of guys don't know what to say to their stripper. Me included. If you must talk to the dancers, do lie to them as much as possible. So what do you do? I work with retarded dolphins. <laughs> a great lie will get you a dance and give Bob Hope a hard on. <laughs> now, for married guys like me, discretion is key. Wives don't understand why they can't buy a new purse, but you can blow 200 bucks on a naked 19-year-old. Very unreasonable. That's why at the end of the night, you don't want to come home smelling like stripper. That is right. The stripper smell is as unmistakable as one of Jimmy's backstage farts. It's a dead giveaway. That's why on the way home, do stop at a gas station. Gee, I better fill up the tank before I head home so I have gas in the morning. Yeah. Oops, oops, I spilled some on my hands and behind my ears. <laughs> and on, my, on Adam's chest. Yes, you dick, you did. Right. And on Adam's private. Hey. <laughs> I'm not married, why do I gotta smell like mobile? Oh, right. Sorry. Her smell is gone, your tank is full, my nuts are rusting, <laughs> and the only thing you have to worry about is bursting into flames. Genius, plain and simple. Now, there's only one important tip left. Uh, ladies? Ladies? Gather up. Yes, 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 there they are. Do take all the strippers to a motel and have sex with them. You know, we've given a lot of advice out tonight, but I think the real lesson here is you guys need to get your own cable TV show. <laughs> I recommend it. All right. Who wants to eat whipped cream off of my penis? <laughs>tonight but uh, one last piece of business uh, something terrible happened during our hiatus last year you may have read about it in the newspaper Oprah put out a magazine oh. yeah. Yeah. she felt that the TV movies books internet and all that crap just wasn't getting her message out to enough people yeah. my wife has a subscription to this for freaking thing subscription actually it's filled with all kinds of uh, uplifting new age self-improvement and uh, Hard liquor ads, by the way, because positive thinking is a lot easier when you have a buzz going. <laughs> well, what can you do? Unfortunately, women are reading nowadays. Yes, so they are. <laughs> yes, they are. They're reading stuff like this. Uh, Oprah talks to her hero, Nelson Mandela. And um, I have these stickers uh, that I think really might help unbrainwash my wife. You just affix them right here. And now, The View star Jones. Now she's fat. Uh, foolproof birth control, anal. Lawn mowing, it's not just for men. And um, the oral sex diet, how I lost 50 pounds. Show toast, everybody. Ziggy Zaggy, Ziggy Zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy Zaggy, Ziggy Zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy Zaggy, Ziggy Zaggy, oi, oi, oi.
Yokozuna!